Hey everyone, welcome to week number 29 of FAQ Friday, answering all of your commonly asked questions about real estate. This week I'm talking to home sellers and just some commonly asked questions that I receive as sellers prepare their home for sale and just kind of what to expect along the way. So that leads me right into my first question, which is what things should I do to prep my house for sale? So start with the basics and kind of just take a walk through your house and note any minor mechanical issues that would probably come up in a home inspection. So that would be stuff like loose door handles, loose handrails, missing light bulbs, stuff like that. Just kind of take inventory and address those items up front. So that will, you know, A, just kind of extract all of those minor items that would come up on a home inspection. And then also just helps present to the buyer or the potential buyer that the home has been extremely well taken care of. In addition to, you know, those minor items, if the walls are scuffed up or if you have some really bold paint colors throughout the house, you might want to either touch up or just kind of neutralize the paint color throughout. So a fresh coat of paint goes a long way, especially if the walls are, you know, beaten up because again, you want to paint the illusion that the home has been very, very well taken care of and someone's not, you know, running into the wall every five minutes, especially if you have kids. Um, other things to prepare your home for sale would be to, if you're going to be living in the home, to maybe have a staging consultation and then they can kind of make sure that your home is effectively staged and the furniture is, um, you know, effectively showing off the space. And then most important thing is to declutter and depersonalize. So any family portraits on the walls, I really hate to say it, but you got to take them down. You got to depersonalize the house. And then in addition to that, you know, make sure all countertops, tables, kitchen countertops, bathroom countertops, everything is just like off the countertops because you do want to show off the table the countertops you want to show off the items of the home and you don't want people when they're scrolling through the pictures to just look at your stuff so that is question number one question number two should i be present when buyers are touring the house so especially right now with us being in a pandemic and many people working from home Unfortunately, you gotta leave the home. So just put yourself in a buyer's shoes. Would you want the seller watching you walk through their house? No, you want their, you want to give them their privacy. You want them to be able to speak freely with their agent. You want them to take their time walking through your house and not feel like rushed because you're waiting for them to leave their house. So you gotta be able to leave the home, gotta find a solution of you know where you can go um, you know, while people are touring your house. And then question number three, how do I know who was coming through my home? So, you know, that is a big concern with sellers just because they don't know who is going to be touring their house if it's, you know, not their agent bringing a buyer through. But the way that, you know, I explain this to my sellers is that there is a showing time. It's called showing time and it's a tool that realtors go online and they schedule a showing. So your agent will know what realtor is showing the house. You will know that too and when. So if any, you know, problems arise, your agent should be aware of, you know, who was, you know, walking through the house at, you know, day and the a specific day and time. So that is all for this week. If you have any other questions about selling your home or would like me on your team, I would love to as long as you're in Maryland. And I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend and I'll chat with you soon.